subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about data cleaning. In our previous classes, we already discussed about the steps involved in machine learning. What are the steps that involved in machine learning? One, collect the data. After collecting the data, we have to apply a model on this data. Then, using this model, we have to predict our future data points. These are the steps involved in machine learning. So coming here, after collecting the data, what we have to do is we have to clean the data. So after collecting the data, we have to clean the data. Then after cleaning the data, we have to apply data pre-processing techniques. After completion of data pre-processing, then we have to apply a model on this pre-processed data. These are the steps we have to follow in machine learning algorithms. So I repeat it, uh, what's collect the data, apply data cleaning uh, methods, then go for data pre-processing, then apply the model, then go for prediction. In this class, we'll discuss about data cleaning techniques. Uh, so in our next classes, we'll take a real-time data set uh, and we'll apply data cleaning techniques using Python and then we go for data pre-processing. So coming to our data cleaning methods, these are some of the data cleaning methods which we discuss in this class. So one important point you have to remember here is there are no standard data cleaning techniques. Based on the data and domain knowledge, we have to identify our data cleaning techniques. So based on our data and domain knowledge. What is meant by domain knowledge? So domain knowledge, we understand this at the end of the class. So based on this data and domain knowledge, we have to identify our own data cleaning techniques, methods. These are some of the data cleaning methods which we discuss here. These are frequently used data cleaning methods. Don't think that uh, these are the standard methods. Okay, that's important point. There are no standard data cleaning methods. Coming to our data cleaning methods, what's the first one? First one is deleting the duplicate values. If you have any duplicate values in your data set, remove duplicate values. So coming to our next one, missing data. Let's take an example. Suppose we are working on a cancer prediction data set. In this cancer prediction data set, PID means patient ID, phone number and a cancer patient will be tested with different tests. Let's say one of the tests is blood test and the remaining tests, they are taking five different tests. One of the uh, tests is blood test. In this, they will check the red blood cells and white blood cells count. So here, what's the data here is a uh, one lakh white blood cells count is there for this patient ID one. First, suppose if you are having missing data here and missing data here. So what we have to do here if we are having missing data? It depends on the situation. Based on the situation, we will do two things here. Whether we have to drop this missing data, means we have to drop this entire row, da okay, data point, or we have to replace this, replace this missing data. So, at what situations we have to choose dropping a dropping a entire uh, data point or replacing a data point missing data so so let's take an example in the cancer data set uh, i collected i collected 2 lakh data points means it's a large data set so uh, in real, in machine learning algorithms really we need large data sets then only we'll get better predictions Okay, so I collected 2 lakh data points here. So in that uh, 1000 data points, we are having missing values. So that default, I can eliminate those, I can drop those uh, missing data points. I can drop those missing data points because I am having lots of data because 2 lakh data points, I can eliminate 1000, no problem. Coming to the other possibility, if I, if I collected only 1000 data points, in that 200 missing data points are there. 200 data points which are having a missing data values. So can I eliminate those uh, 200 data points? No, that's not the right method because we need large data set. 
so we have to choose a method to replace that missing data value for suppose here we are having a missing data value i can th these are also not the standard methods to replace the missing data value based on the domain knowledge you we have to choose our own missing data prediction values okay missing values so some of the uh, methods are replace with the mean value because take the mean value of all these column values then replace it with the missing mean value okay next replace with median value replace with the mode value these are some of the methods which we use in identifying the missing values okay coming to our next data cleaning method unrelated data irrelevant data means unrelated data take this example here we are predicting whether the person is having cancer or not so in this data set is it phone number is important how we predict based on the test values we will predict that this person is having a cancer or not this is not related data this type of columns we can drop the columns this is what unrelated data is coming to our next method typo typo means typing mistakes take an example this gender value some people may write it as f for female some people may write it as female okay so they, they are not two different values they are same value f means it's a female female means uh, if you write it fully it's a female they, those two are same meaning uh, the meaning of these two values is same so what we have to do during the data cleaning process we have to convert this as female or we can convert this as female to f we have to choose one method which whichever it's flexible for us we have to convert this these are called typo mistakes and coming to next one is a type conversion type conversion what do you mean by type conversion here take an example white blood cells count 1 lakh 1 lakh 2 lakh 5 lakhs white blood cells count are there in our in, in a patient what that mean 1 2 5 these are numeric data numeric data so, but in the data set we'll have it as one l l means one lakh one lakh this is numeric data so remove this l make it as a numeric value we have to do type conversion string type to numeric values we have to do that conversion these are some of the data cleaning methods these are not standard data cleaning methods there are no standard data cleaning methods based on the data and domain knowledge we have to identify our own data cleaning methods coming to domain knowledge what is meant by domain knowledge for suppose let's assume that i am working in a real estate business from last 10 years this is what domain means what's my domain is i am working in a real estate business that's my domain so in this domain i will have some knowledge because i am working it from last 10 years so my expertise in real estate business can help you in understanding the data let's say how we will understand with the expertise of domain let's say that uh, house cost prediction data this is what we choose here because real estate people will almost do work on this data sets so number of bedrooms number of bath color of the house whether i have to keep keep this column or not really customers give importance to color of the house if yes we have to keep it keep it if no they are not giving importance to color of the house they are giving importance to only uh, which location it is having uh, how many bedrooms it is having uh, how many bathrooms then who will tell that uh, this value color of the house is not giving importance domain expert domain expert will tell you because he is having some experience in uh, in this field so we have to meet domain expert and we have to get an understanding about the data okay whether we have to keep this column or not this is what about uh, data cleaning uh, in our next class in our next classes we will take a real time data set and we will apply data cleaning methods on the real time data set uh, practically we will do it in python so please in our last class we already explained about how to install python and anaconda in windows environment 
so get ready with your installations in our next next class we'll start implementing the data cleaning methods first we will discuss about the data on real time data set and then we go with the practical implementation okay hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you